2. Separate Issues, Living Areas, and Basements Although both types of environments have humidity levels that may be excessive, the problems that develop are generally different. In populated areas, however, moisture problems usually become more severe in the fall and winter. During the colder months in the fall, there is a problem with the structure's envelope being cold and the outside air being mild and humid, ventilating the rooms will remove only a little moisture. In winter, however, when the outside temperature drops below zero degrees, critical situations are produced. In wineries, however, the situation is reversed. Summer is the worst season for these places. This is because warm, humid air comes in from outside, cools in the basement, and becomes even more humid, making mold growth on cold walls more likely. Basement windows and doors should be kept closed on hot summer days, especially when humidity levels are high. Property Maintenance Costs and Depreciation Excessive moisture or mold growth are two problems that homeowners should not take lightly. This is not only because of the possibility of extensive damage to the structure in a short period of time, as a result, these remediation costs can become significant, but also because the damage that is difficult to fix can arise, resulting in a depreciation of the structure of the property. When water penetrates the insulating materials of exterior walls, there are several negative effects. Mold can develop on the materials, lowering their insulating value and increasing energy consumption for heating. In addition, the outside walls become colder, allowing mold to develop on the inside. Conclusions On high floors and not in contact with the ground, the most common cause of mold formation is the condensation of moisture, condensation water, because the walls are too cold, or simply there is too much moisture in the air, shower, kitchen, humidifiers, etc. Rarely does water enter a home from the outside due to heavy rains, roof and ceiling defects, leaks, or faulty pipes. If occupants do not ventilate effectively or at all, or if ventilation options are limited, a room that is already too humid can further deteriorate abruptly. When we are in contact with the ground, on the ground floor, in the basement, or in the cellar, rising damp is the main problem in old, poorly insulated, and waterproof buildings. The most economical and efficient technique to combat rising damp is the Mertronic 2, 